we're going to talk about the new span features here in Z Inspector. So how the new website works is we put all of your media, photos, videos, 360 images in one kind of, essentially you can think of it as a folder. So all of that media is going to show up there. It can end up being there for different purposes, collected by different people and so forth. Then we're going to put your actual inspection reports with an icon like this. Now, the idea is that when you click on inspection report, then you can choose to attach media or attach different sets of media or not. I mean, the media is all time stamped, so you can still kind of all basically attach that into your report and still have all the right documentation for your purposes. So, my, so here are some common examples for that. For example, maybe you're doing a move-in inspection and you end up taking pictures over multiple days. You may see a couple of different icons show up like this because the media is showing up here in different days. Or maybe someone else from the office went in maybe with a, a, a DLSR camera or a different phone using quick pictures on the app and just took some additional pictures as well and you wanted to include those on your move-in inspection as well but even though their purpose was more for marketing maybe they took 360 images or something like that so there's so on any one of these you could just click on it and just see the media associated that with this icon in here you can think of it almost like a folder all right but now i'm going to click on this which is the actual inspection report now what we're doing here is we're going to automatically attach certain media to that that's relevant Okay, so if you see here, if you want to control the settings, if I click on that gear icon, the span values right here are what control what media that we're going to actually add to the inspection report. Now the document ID media here, so what happens when you're new, using the new Z Inspector 3 app, every time you take a photo as part of inspection, we put an ID right into that particular um, uh, picture or media or, or video and so now even if it happens over multiple days by having this setting on it's just going to automatically grab all the media and put it right here on the inspection report. Now the non-doc ID media in the example that I just showed that might be if someone added a um, took pictures on a different device so maybe someone else was walking through a different device and quick pictures they also were there in a move inspection, also taking pictures. It's really not part of the same report, but now we can instantly add it here, but just by checking that item. Now, if I wanted to add those marketing pictures that someone else took, um, then I can click all activities and I can actually span back in time a few days. So another example when that might get used is, for example, you may take a whole bunch of pictures at a move out inspection if the place looked in great shape then you could basically reuse those pictures for a move in inspection and actually add them into your move in inspection report okay so now when you hit um, apply then that's going to then update your document with any new media so as you can see it can add some other pictures here that weren't there initially because I changed my span values now what's really powerful about this is that when I hit this share button now I can download a new PDF um, email distribute that will um, process one based on the rules of my company. The default is just going to send me an email or it can send them out, you know, various places or even send them into Rent Tech Direct or Rent Manager or things like that. Um, but also this share HTML and this is unique now. So when I click the share HTML, this link right here for the inspection report is dynamic. It dynamically changes based on the media that you've selected. So you can actually generate different inspection reports for different purposes and regenerate a new link and then use that link wherever you want, as well as generate a new and unique PDF. Hope that helps and you enjoy the new features. If you have any questions, just uh, email us at support at zinspector.com. Take care.